Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to extract the record coming from the database using Microsoft Word 2016. In this example, we're going to use MS SQL database format. To start, let us go to Answer tab, go to Quick Parts, select Field, and from this Field Names, let us look for Database. Then click insert database get data then we have two available database option in this example we're gonna use SQL or new SQL server connection because it's suited to our database format but if you are using different database format select the first option for now let us select the second option then click open and this window we will specify the server name so let us get the server name from sql management studio so from this login window we can select and copy the server name then let us back to this uh, ms word right click paste Notice the number to required information. We have two options here. Use Windows authentication and use username and password. And this is for SQL Server authentication. In this case, we will use Windows authentication. Click Next. Then select the specific database from the server. And let us uh, select employee database if you have noticed the bubble table displayed here in our database it contained only one table but if your database is multiple table it will be displayed all here and uh, since our database has only one table let us select the uh, table and click next Click next then finish and this options under data option allow us to query a specific record to limit or filter the result or records but for now we are not using this we can sell it and the second option allow us to select available template for the output for instance so uh, if we select this uh, template and uh, click OK then uh, click insert data then from this there is another option so we can limit the number of records to pull out from the database for example if we choose from we can specify the specific records let's say from record number 2 to record number 10 so uh, all the records from uh, the, the, the table from record number 2 to number 10 will be let's choose off and click OK so that's it all the records are now on the table so if we check if this is the same record from the database so let us go back to MS SQL, connect, and let us expand this database folder. And this is our employee database table. And right click, select tab 1000 rows. Here we go. This is the same record that we extracted from the database. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell button to notify you the next video upload. Thank you again.